All right, so I'm gonna run some bags in my Presso. Got Unicorn 3T bags here and my trusty four cup or quart scoop four grains. Lots of folks seem to have trouble loading up their Presto pressure cooker. They're aligning their walls, doing all sorts of things, which I think are probably unnecessary. I'm gonna show you how I do it. Perhaps that will alleviate some of those problems. Each bag is gonna get three quarts. After the filled, match gussets. Doesn't have to be perfect. Squish the air out. Wrap around. There you go. Made enough for four bags. Filter facing outwards. Magnets put on your jiggle weight something to put in the bottom of your pressure cooker to act as a spacer these are aluminum bars they don't rust three quarts of water keeping your bag slightly elevated out of the water you can start loading them in Now you can see there's a lot of extra space in here. You can probably fit two more bags, but I only made enough for this. So uh, you can probably fit, like I said, two more bags in here, but to keep, to keep these, uh, the valve and the lid lock free, you're probably best off not jamming it full of bags. Add a trivet to the top. Close it up. Make sure your valve is open. Turn on your heat. And let it uh, heat up to the point where you can hear an audible hiss coming out of here. You're gonna hear some sputtering. You need to purge the trapped gases in here for at least 10 minutes. I prefer to go for 15 minutes. Less isn't more. The uh, trapped gases need to be replaced completely with steam. Otherwise, you will not be re reaching the desired internal temperature for sterilization. Okay, so both of my valves have just popped up, the overpressure plug and the lid lock. This is when I start my 15 to 20 minute timer. I wait for these two valves to come up because then I know it's pressurized just slightly enough to be quickly evacuating all of the trapped gases. All right, so the timer is up. It's now time to apply the jiggle weight. The weight itself without the magnets allows the dial to reach 15 PSI before it starts to jiggle and hiss. By adding extra weight, you're able to exceed 15 PSI. Now, during that entire purge cycle, you will have heard pockets of trap gases kind of puffing out of the vent tube. That's exactly what you would expect to hear, and that's good. Anyways, now we're going to allow this to reach 15 PSI and start our timer for three and a half hours. All right, so timer is up. Turn off the heat. Allow it to come down to room temperature. As the pressure cooker cools down, the bags 
will vacuum seal on their own. So do not try to hasten the cool down by taking off the jiggle weight or anything like that. Allow the dial to at least come to zero, but best just leave it uh, until it comes to room temperature because these bags are going to be pretty hot and they're going to take a while to cool down anyways. Best to allow them to cool down inside the pressure cooker where it is sterile. All right, so the pressure cooker has been allowed to cool overnight. The bags seal on cool down. Now, because this is a pressure cooker and not an autoclave, uh, it does not pull a vacuum. So the bags will seal just not as nicely as they would with, say, an All-American. There you go. Nicely formed and vacuum sealed. Notice there's no melting, there's no popping, and there's water left in the unit. See the mouth is completely vacuum sealed. Now this is not as tight or as nice as it would be in a unit that is capable of pulling a vacuum, but it's still sealed. And that's how you run spawn bags in a 23 quart Presto. No need to line the walls of your pressure cooker with cardboard or any other preventative measure. Just properly wrap your bags, use the proper quality bags, and you won't have any issues. A note on heat source, I'm using a CADCO electric burner. If you go the electric route and you use a cheap Walmart or Canadian Tire or whatever electric burner, there's not going to be enough output to efficiently heat up a pressure cooker of this size, uh, especially if the hot plate is a glass top or something like that. Now, if you're using propane or a gas burner, you're going to want to follow the manufacturer's directions in terms of uh, BTU because if it is too high, the excess heat will cause rapid heat up, which will burst your bags and potentially melt them if it continues to get too hot inside your pressure cooker. So keep that in mind.